All right, so we're having issues with Instacart. So. This sucks. I am. Um, I think Instacart looks seems, seems like Instacart's down right now. I can't see the. When I started my day, I did not expect it to go how it went. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Man, oh man. Just remember, we can all learn something when we make mistakes, when things happen, when apps go down. We learn from each other here. We got our first batch, it didn't take long. $43, only 40 items. It is a triple on Instacart, but let me show you something. Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You, Pedro, Doresh, Instacart, Santiago. Here we go. With Instacart, Sometimes it will tell you this order can only be shopped at this store because this store versus the Snooks that was really up the street from me might have what they need. Triple batch, $43 and some change. Uh, I don't mind triples as long as the item counts aren't a lot. So if you look at here, this is only, I think, 42 combined units with all three orders, okay? So actually, it's pretty good. We're going to go shop it. It's a triple. It's a good way to start the day. It's 9.30, I think, 9, 9.40. $43 Instacart, let's go. So quick tip to anybody thinking about doing Instacart or starting brand new, always take a look at the items. For example, I'm looking at the items as I'm walking up. So kind of give my head, my my brain a, a roadmap. Plus, do I need one card and separate these three? Do I need two or three different cards or they're big bulky items? Make sure you're looking at that before you start shopping. Let's go. So we got some beverages and various things. So we're actually gonna grab a regular size cart for two orders and a small cart for the other one. Ooh, they want one pound of these fresh green beans. All right, let's do it. See how close we got to a pound. Oh, pretty close. Got to add just a little more. All right, we got to get some one and a half pounds of pork. Yes, can I have a pound and a half of the boar's head cracked pepper mill smoked turkey breast? Thank you. While they're cutting that up, I will grab a couple of items right around the corner to be as efficient as possible. So we need this guy right here, grab that. And we'll also grab this guy. I saw this from across the aisle. Is it party size? Yeah, so we grab that while he's slicing it. Thank you very much. Is that all you need? That's it. Cool. All right, so what we mostly got is customer A. We have that in the small one. Customer B is gonna be in the top of the bigger one here. Customer C is gonna be at the bottom. They got two big old packs of cheese. All right, we only have 13 more things to do. All right, so customer B got a lot of what looks like to me like single guy food. You got these ready meals, you got a stuffed crust pizza, some Red Bull, all kinds of soda, Powerade, some nuggets. What do y'all think? I'm loving it. And then we got a thing of water for C down there, a couple more items and we're done. And the order would not be complete without some Hidden Valley Ranch, a staple to every American household. All right, not too bad. We're 28 minutes in. We got to grab this guy here. The cookies they're out of, they don't have them, so she hasn't replied back, so we'll have to refund that. There's no really substitution. Let's grab this guy, check out. We're going to do this order from beginning to end in about one hour. Because the miles, I forgot to tell you, I was only four miles. And two of the customers live, like, across the street from each other. Fantastic. Boom. Found it. I didn't give up yet. When I... When there's an item that I think is out of stock, I wait till the end, I ask somebody, we found it, boom, love it. Actually, hold up, is that the right kind? No, it's not, it's the wrong one. They want the reindeer ones, Christmas tree, I got reindeer. Or they want Christmas tree, I got reindeer. Anyways, so as a shopper, guys, we have to make sure we're doing our due diligence, but ooh, look, these are all reindeers. Oh, they don't have the Christmas tree. You know what, I am gonna grab that one though, because it's so similar. I asked if she wanted a replacement. I'm gonna grab that one and that's what we're gonna do. All right, here's the haul. This one goes in here. Would you guys do that for $43? So we got this one first. You wanna scan that and I'll start loading it. All right, this is A. We gone. So as we're dropping off this first order, let me know what you guys, uh, I've asked you guys, you know, a lot of you guys don't like to do the shopping. Why not? Why not give it a try? Is it worth shopping? You know, it takes a little time. You got to be patient. $43 for one hour, four total miles, a 10 mile to dollar ratio. Say it's pretty good, right? Also with Instagram, you got to remember 
Instacart will send you a similar order, same size, three drop-offs, three customers, three shop and pays for like $13 or $14. I've seen that as well. So when a consumer doesn't tip on Instacart, it's hard to make money. So just like DoorDash and Uber, you gotta have customers to tip you and be selective, be patient. You cannot take trash because that will really start to frustrate you. Would I do this work for 14 bucks in one hour? Absolutely not, that's pitiful. But for 43, it's worth my time. Boom shakalaka, five dollar spot. So we wound up making almost $49 on that, I'll show you. So we just dropped that off. And uh, yeah, 43.75. Show you guys right here. Come on, man. There you go, 43.75. One hour and like five minutes worth of time. Pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at the breakdown. So customer C, the one I just dropped off, tipped four dollars in the app, and then he handed me a five, so he tipped nine bucks. And then, so we had 34, 35 bucks worth of tips. That's a pretty, that's a damn good order. If I'm not gonna listen, you don't always get those, but let's keep going. You guys want to see something really cool? I'm right by my uh, tattoo shop, my guy. Shout out! Look at this truck. Let's watch, watch. Real quick, look, look, look. Boom, ragtime tattoo on Morgan Ford. That's my tattoo spot. Shout out to my man, Ryan. Does amazing work. All right, we grabbed the $7.9 mile Starbucks. I think I put a screenshot of it here if I can. And we were driving right by this Starbucks anyway. So I was gonna go to a spot that's kind of hot. So there's the Starbucks. So this is easy money, seven bucks. The, um, because I know a lot of you guys ask me, how do you know if there's a tip? You don't always know. Nothing's 100% with these apps, right? But I know that my base pay usually on Uber is three bucks, so I think they left me a four dollar tip. Actually, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Let's go pick it up. And why is that important? Well, for me, if this order comes in at three dollars for 0.9, that's trash. I don't take it for various reasons that many of you know. But because it's seven bucks, shit, I, I would have taken it at five. You throw me a couple of dollars, I'll deliver your Starbucks, but not for three. But for seven, for 0.9, great miles to money. I'll take it. And that order was sitting right there. Woo, I love when it's ready. Let's go drop it off. Easy seven bucks. All right, got the next order. Waited about 15 minutes to see something good. We got a, you can't, I can't screenshot these Disney cars because they go quick. 14 bucks, nine items, 0.7 miles. I'm right up the street from the store. So we're going to go back to that. I think it's the same uh schnooks we were just at 14 bucks nine items 0.7 or 0.9 whatever that's easy i like the cash flow it shouldn't take me long even if it takes me 30 minutes from now to when i drop it off which is probably at, on the long end that's what it'll take that's good money for 30 minutes 14 bucks is pretty good so let's go do it all right uber was still on i was actually about to turn it off we got this one right here 11 dollars two miles i'm gonna do it instacart you, you give you a little bit of time before you have to start your batch the drop-off location to the actual, um, to the, this is a McDonald's on Uber Eats, um, is very close to that Schnooks. So I'm gonna add $11 to this, easy money, right? If I get to the McDonald's and there's any issues, like if there's a long wait, I will drop it and then continue on with my Instacart. But this is a small detour, make an extra $11.04, easy money. That's how you multi-app. With Instacart, you get a little bit of time, right? Don't abuse it, but, be smart and make your money. We're off to a pretty good start for a Monday. Pulling up to the Mickey D's. The, this lobby is open, so it shouldn't be much of a wait. Order was ready. There you go, man. Have a good one, brother. Thanks, Thank you. Yep. Oh, wrong kind. We need the bag. Done. Seven minutes. There's the haul. Easy money today. So it's saying to skip the checkout and just bag the items. I've never had that before. I'm talking a minute. Usually it has me have you scan it. Yeah. Or I pick it up from in there. Right. I've never had to shop it and then saying just to bag it without right. actually scanning anything i'm not really too like yeah i've secret. never seen that before all right that was weird so follow me here guys all my instacart people let me know this could be uh, exclusive to this particular so snooks is a local 
Where's it at? Uh, right there, Schnucks. It's a local joint in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, grocery chain. With Instacart, you could have it to where it'll tell you, just pick up the bags. It's already been shopped, right? And then all the other ones, you shop it, they scan a code. This one was different. It said, you don't have to check out, just verify that you have the right items with associated at the front of the store, and that's it. I didn't have to scan a receipt, take a picture of the receipt. Never seen that before. Let me know if you guys have seen that in with Instacart. Kind of odd. If anything, it made it a little bit easier. Let's go drop it off. All right, we just dropped that one off. So that brings our total on Instacart to 57.51. Uh, 1396. I thought it was 14. So that, so I had to make a substitution with the Sasha. So instead of a $5 tip, it went down to 496, but Hey, it's 14 bucks. Either way, it doesn't matter. So we've been out for two hours with the $5 cash tip. We made 80 bucks. Ooh, just got off a really good call. Big things coming in 2023. Y'all Oh, just wait. Look at this order. But look at this. Sir. So we had, we were on a call for about 40 minutes. Look at that. Look at the item count. So we got one shop and deliver heavy pay 60 items 107 units 11 dollars 2.3 miles i'm at the schnooks look i'm in the parking lot no tip <laughs> look at this they got all kinds of stuff big bulky items regular stuff you want me to shop for you check out for you bag this stuff for you load it in my car Unload it in my car, bring it to your door for zero dollars from you. Bruh, if that's not miserable, I don't know what is. All right, we're sitting here waiting on an Instacart. We're at Schnooks and we got a noodles and call. Put a screenshot. Look at the noodles and call. There it is. It's eight bucks. It's two miles. I said, let's take it. Let's go. All right, we're at a different Schnooks. 35 bucks it's a triple i think it's 50 items eight miles i said let's do it this will put us uh you know 115 no 120 dollars or something for the day listen it's only 130 it's 126 and i was on a 40 minute call earlier easy money let's go ahead and do it i do not mind here we are right here triple batch 12 units 26 27 so i think it's like 60 oh, wow. items anyways doesn't matter okay let's go so it's getting a little slow with the app, so I took this one. Normally, I like my triples to be $40 plus, but it's a $5 difference. Let's just do it. Um, we're going to have customer A is going to go right here. It's only nine items. Customer B is going to go in this part here. Customer C is going to go in this little guy right here. Easy. Don't mind if I do. Look at this guacamole squeeze. It's kind of a different type of item. I wonder, sometimes items like that could be kind of in a weird spot i'm thinking it might be over here because it doesn't give me a item area is that it up there is that the same thing cabo fresh it's not but i'm in the right area i think we're gonna have to get that one though that is the right one see you see how it looks different but it's not turn it over fiesta fiesta packaging will be different sometimes y'all that's the right kind Check it out, robots are coming. Hi, I'm Sally. I check stuff inventory. Robots, robots. <laughs> owl by owl, owl nine, getting some polar, red ruby, grapefruit, blah, 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 it's right behind me. It's not hard, y'all. Learn in patience, take the good with the bad. You can make money without DoorDash. All right, we're 38 minutes in. We gotta find these sun chips, which they're probably on an end cap, and then we'll be done. Not too bad. Always that last time. Sometimes chips, they weren't down the chip aisle. Sometimes you gotta look at the certain end caps, the the front of stores, the back of stores. Uh, Sun chips are notorious. I don't know why it's that brand, but I feel like they're always kind of like in different spots every time I come. But at the end of the day, this store is probably gonna take us about an hour and 15 minutes from beginning in by the time I drop them off for the 35 bucks. So I'll take that. But we're looking for them Sun chips and we have not been able to find them. It's always one item. I have not seen one bag of Sun Chips. Do you guys have Sun Chips? The brand Sun Chips? I'm not seeing them anywhere. See, they'll have chips everywhere. Hey, look, we're over in like the meat area. Anyways, anyways, uh, the only one, I found one bag of Harvest Cheddar, but they haven't responded. I don't want to get this one because they want original. 
and that's a very different flavor profile. So we're just gonna have to refund it and check out. It is what it is. We're in line. We got A right here, B down here. They do want those, so we're gonna get those for them. B right here, and then C in that car. I'm good. How's your daughter? She's doing all right. So I have three. You give me the first one first. All right. So this one, if you want to scan that for me. Thank you. Oh, 44? She's not working at that restaurant anymore, is she? Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, done. That was pretty easy, actually. A um, couple tips. When you're checking out at certain stores, make sure they know you have multiple orders, you have them separated. Um, when they're bagging or if you're bagging, put the bags back in the spot you had them. So for example, this is A, customer A, customer B, customer C still in this cart. Separate them in a car. It's not hard, but you, you know, it's easy to make a mistake, right? You could easily make a mistake. So I'll put customer A, actually I'm gonna put it in the front with me. Customer B will be on the left side of the trunk in the back and customer C will be in the right side of the trunk in the back. I already know this delivery ain't got nothing on it. Sometimes when you do the stacks, they put a bad one with a couple good ones. But look at the sign. And then when I get to the back door, so it's basically a sign saying deliver to the back door for that address. When I get there, the door is locked. So um, not a very good apartment building here. It's kind of run down, but they're not responding. Um, yeah, so if you order from Instacart and you know your door's locked where you want me to deliver it to you, please be ready. It's it's really common sense, right guys? That delivery was weird. They had signs, you saw the sign at the front and then it had signs all up inside the apartment building going up the steps, sign on the front door. I did not want to leave it there because they had about five different signs saying stop, deliver. But the back door was locked. I called, um, she came out and I handed it to her. So. It's all good, no harm, no foul. But that was more difficult than it needed to be. All right, so let's go ahead and drop off number two and number three. All right, so we're having issues with Instacart. So it went down. I just dropped off that first one. I can see the icon where the other two are. I hit back to batch, right? Oh, let me do it with you guys in live time. And then that happens. So the Instacart app is acting up. I can't get to the address or navigation screen. I could zoom in and I know the area that I'm going to, so I'm gonna start driving in that area. Like I know where about where that house is, but it doesn't give me an ex exact location necessarily. I could drop these off by zooming in and figuring out the house, but I don't know if it's an apartment. I don't know what the delivery instructions are. I'm hitting back to batch again and it just goes away. So I'm gonna undo this and just start it over. I guess start my phone over. Hopefully it comes back up. So I got to call in this app. I restarted it. Nothing, none of the stuff's coming up. I got a 14 minute wait. This sucks. Part of it, I guess. I know I'm probably five minutes from the first customer. I know the street, it looks, I can zoom in on the building, but I don't know if that's customer B, if it's customer C. I don't know if it looks like it could be an apartment building. Now I got to wait on Instacart to help me figure this out. Just when you're having a good day and everything's going smoothly, this happens. Clearly something's going on. If you go to the app, this is what a little disclaimer from Instacart. They're having, experiencing high call volumes, blah, blah, blah. This is a shit show. So this is what I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is, cause when I go to try to call and I'm, I'm on hold, I don't have any, anyways. I'm gonna go to this building. I'm gonna zoom in like I am. I'm gonna go to this building. I'm gonna knock on a, Hopefully it's a house. I think it's an apartment and I'm going to see, hey, you know, what's your name or what, like, what order did you have? And I'm going to see if I can't get it dropped off um, and then go from, you know, and then call in the card. I, I hope this works. I hope I'm not going to sit in my car for who knows how long trying to figure out this glitch. It will kill my vibes. I, I, I hate when stuff like this happens. I am not a patient human being. Like, I am not a patient human being. So... Let me see if I can't troubleshoot this myself first. Um, I, I know I can get to the person's location because um, the GPS is tracking me and the pin, you know, but like I'm literally right here. It's like right up the street. So never had this happen on Instacart before. I'm not happy, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to get these people their food quickly. 
this sucks though. This is not. I am. I hope they fix this quickly. If I have to sit around and talk to Instacart for a while, I'm gonna lose my shit. This sucks. I am. This no. call may be monitored or recorded for quality purposes. It said 20 minute wait. Now. I don't know what. I don't know. What, literally, I think it's this building over here, but um, this is bad. Imagine being a customer. You see that I'm here, but I'm not delivering you your stuff. I don't know. I don't know if it's that building for sure. It's hard to tell on the map. Um, this is a shit show. Am I? Uh, I should be. This should be done. I should be already. I should be done with this order. I'm being held hostage. I got two customers foods held hostage. I am not like this. This kills my vibe. I cannot tell you how aggravated things like this. I just can't. I'm an impatient human being. I, these are all apartments around me. Four family flats, four family flats, everything. Four family flats. One of these. Like it's hard to tell with the what you gonna call it. Um, what would you guys do in this situation? I pin myself. I feel like I've done the best that I can. I can't even in this app. I'm looking to see is there a way to contact the customer. There's not. With DoorDash, sometimes there is. There isn't even a way to see the older messages to message them. I mean, all these options at the bottom. The, the nothing. There's no op. There's no way to do that. Is there? Am I missing something? Um, extremely unfortunate. I should be done now. Um, and I'm just at the disposal of Instacart. I mean, I've restarted the app. I've restarted my phone. Let's hit back to batch again and see if anything happens. Nope, it goes right to my home screen. Dude, I am beyond pissed off. Okay, I found it. I found the chat. Okay, I found the chat option. So when I clicked on uh, profile, anyways, to see the little top part, the little icon. To, so if I click on that, both of the customers pop up. I didn't know that. So I'm going to message both of them. Can I call? Okay, I'm going to message both and let them know what's going on. Hopefully I can get these things dropped off. They can send me their address and I'll figure out the rest later. <sighs> Dude, I'm... Hold on, does it... Okay, so I t texted Michael and I texted Brian. <sighs> Brian was communicated with me earlier. I, I know I'm at one of the addresses. I don't know which customer it is. So hopefully he can tell me and I can get that one dropped off and then I could use the picture I see and drop go to the other customer. I've already wasted 38 minutes. I am 38 minutes late. I should be making money doing something else. These customers should have their orders already. Um, oh man, I'm hot. Right? I, I can't even. I, I'm just so pissed off. Okay, so Brian... Customer C just sent me his address. I know that that's not where I'm at now. So that I am at customer B's. Okay, customer B just responded. So I am... Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I have, I'm have. i at customer B's location. I'm going to drop that off. And then I'm going to drive the customer C. I'll let the app figure out itself later. Hopefully I get paid. It is what it is. But I, I now I, at least I can drop these things off. I didn't know about that chat option. I wish I would have known that earlier, but... You live and you learn. All right, that one dropped off on the way to the second customer. I wish I knew that. I didn't know that that you could look at the chat. Now I know. But still, I'm, this is an hour, guys. Almost, I should be. Oh my God, I can't. Oh, I'm the most impatient driver. Trust me, I am. I can't. I've had a good day, and then like when stuff like this happens, it sucks my energy. I got to figure out a better way to not have that happen. But my energy is drained. I'm so pissed right now that I, I hate wasting time. And then look, Instacart's busy. I get it. But I cannot stand wasting my time. I lost an hour to this. And that makes me more frustrated than anything else. It's not about the money. It's about the time for me. Um, I think Instacart looks seems, seems like Instacart's down right now. I can't see the customer addresses and things like that. Um, I was able to get the address from the customer directly, but I can't get into the app to uh, process the rest of these deliveries and take pictures and market delivered and all that stuff. Okay. 
Um, I understand your concern that you are facing uh, the same issues with our previous shopper in here in our end. Uh, rest assured that I can help you with that. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, brother, is it okay if I put you on a brief hold so that I, I can pull up your account here in my end? That's triple fine. But, triple R, you're for this much, right? Yes, I've already dropped, I dropped one off, and then after I dropped the first one off, it gave me an, an issue. I, I can't get in for the second and third, but I've dropped the second one off because I communicated with the customer, and I'm on my way to the third customer's address, but the app oh, is still... I know the... Go ahead. Okay, okay. May I know the customer's name so that I can access you further? I'm sorry, I, what'd you say? I completed the first order. I think the name was Trisha or Trish. And then when I went to go start the navigation for the second customer, the app is down. Okay. I can't, I couldn't see the address and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I dropped off Mike, I guess. I'm on Brian right now, but the app won't allow okay. me to do anything. Okay, so they're marked as delivered on my end, you said? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't get in, okay. Um, Okay, great. Is there a, is there an issue with the app? Should I just stop using it for a while? Have yeah. you guys had known issues? What 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 can you tell me about that so I could decide if I want to yeah. continue to do this? Uh, as of now, we really have an issue with the app. Um, the other shoppers are calling us with regard uh, with the same issue concern. Okay, okay, no so, problem. I okay, I I get it. I appreciate you helping me. Thank you. <sighs> That sucked, man. Now I know there's a way to get to the chat. I did not know that before. I've never had to use it before. I never had to chat a customer or reach out to a customer while I was en route. I've never had to do that. With DoorDash and Uber, I know how to do it. They make it easy. Instacart does not make it easy, as easy. Um, that was painful. Um, this is the results of that order. I'll show you guys. I think it was $34.90. There it is. Um, that was That sucked. First customer, $2 tip. Order B, 1743. Order C, 647. We made $34.90. That took forever. Um, I feel I feel used and abused. Um, my girl's calling me. Listen, that's the video today. I got to go. I'm going to make 300 bucks today, but I just had a one-hour delay in that process. The life of a gig worker. See you tomorrow. If you like this video or others, check out this one here. Consider hitting subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments.